Okay, so according to NADA stats, a dealership will spend over $600 per retail vehicle sold to get a customer in the door. Now, a very interesting thing just happened to me. I'm inquiring about a car, so I go on the OEM website, it lists local dealers, I select one, I push the click to call button for sales, some guy answers the phone, says, hello. I said, hey, I'm inquiring about a new, he says, oh, you have the wrong number. Wow, okay, so that's step number one, or should I say misstep. Then I push the service button for the same dealership. Person answers the phone, they're actually in the sales department, so that line has crossed. Now I'm asking when a particular new model's coming out, and I'm told probably sometime in January. I said, have they been allocated yet? Not yet, but uh, we expect that information probably mid-November sometime. Great, well thank you very much, have a nice day. Click, bye. Wow. Now, if I was on the receiving end of such a phone call, I would ask, hey, great choice. Do you own one now? Are you looking to upgrade? Because sometimes what happens is we get information before, before the stuff even comes out in public. I'd like to send you that information. Where would I send that to? And my name is Paul. Uh, if I have early information, would you like to be updated? Great. Let me have your name again. And where would I call you? Awesome. Hey, thanks a lot. I'm going to send you my card and some additional information just so that you have it uh, kind of before the, the car even comes out. And that way, if you have any questions, you'd be able to contact me. Hey, I really appreciate your call and I'll be in touch. Thanks again. Talk soon. Now, in my opinion, that's probably a little bit better way to handle it because as of right now, they've spent the money to get the phone to ring. It took me a couple attempts to get them to pick up. And after I hung up the phone, they don't know who I am. They don't have any record of what I'm looking for or any way to contact me. And for this, they spend $600 plus per car. Hmm, what do you think?